Hey everyone, this is Anurag Ray from PestroomWorldWarrior.com and in this video I will talk about why rats eat their babies. And before we continue this video, don't forget to click on the subscribe button, click on the notification bell so that you can receive updates about my video and also help my channel grow. Now it has been seen a lot of time that the rat eat their babies and is quite gross and but there are reasons why a rat does it. It's not a daily side, you won't see that happening every single day but they do it sometimes especially when they are starving. Now, the, after giving birth, uh, the rats actually are feels a lot of hunger and they are tired and exhausted. So sometimes they can end up eating their own babies if they are not able to uh, get the necessary, uh, if they feel like they need to survive and they during that time, uh, they can eat their own babies. Especially those babies that are almost dead are also seeing that they are weak ones, they can eat those. This is a cannibalistic tendency with the rat. They have it, they can also eat other adult uh, weaker rats and small rats so it's there within them and they do it but this is not a daily side you won't see that uh, often but they can do it because it obviously provides them with the nutrients the uh, the protein so they does it if not every time they actually can kill one or two baby rats and then the feed the other baby rats it's also possible that because uh, there is scarcity of food and the rat doesn't have the energy to actually uh, feed all of the rat baby rats the rat does it and they kill some of the weaker ones and let the other stronger ones survive because if there are three to four rats surviving the mother can feed them and can keep them alive but if they try to keep all of them alive then it's possible that uh, all of the rats can die all of the baby rats can die so because of that reason they kill the small ones and if they kill it they're definitely going to eat it because that's going to provide them nutrients that's going to provide them the energy they need uh, to provide to produce the milk and feed their babies so it's uh, uh, common behavior in rats, but they don't do it that often because most of the time after giving birth they usually go out and uh, they find food, they feed their babies and they also rejuvenate their energies which is really important for a rat for any kind of animals after giving birth to rejuvenate their energies because they get completely drained after, getting, after giving birth and rejuvenation is really important during that time. Without that they won't be able to produce the milk and eventually it's also possible that the mother rat can die if they don't get food on time. Immediately after giving birth, they feel a need to eat food because uh, without that they cannot survive. The food is a necessary ingredient for that reason they have to get it from some sort of source and for example uh, they can eat it from their own babies sometimes but in general they go outside and eat their, eat their other foods. Now it has also found that uh, if predators attack the rats quite often uh, after giving birth if predators are attacking the rats and the rat is not able to get out from the place for quite some time then the rat can also eat their babies because of course they need food they need to produce the milk to make a uh, to serve uh, to keep the other baby rats alive so for that reason they can eat the smaller and weaker ones to survive and if they have let's say six to seven babies then they can eat one or two of them and keep the other ones alive they don't eat all of them just keep a few of them alive but he eats one or two of them now uh, especially it has been seen if their predators are attacking them they will hide over there because of course they cannot get out and if they're hiding for quite some time for a few days this can happen now this is not a something a side that can be uh, that anyone is going to like because they are just feeding the feeding on their own babies but if you look it from their perspective they need to survive and also meant to make sure that the next generation also survives and if they cannot make uh, keep everyone alive they can at least keep some of them alive so they have to do it even though they don't really always uh, want to do it it's like a biology in them it's like hardware in them when they are facing the scarcity when they are facing tar starvation they can eat their own species and it's this behavior usually seen in also other species not just rats can be seen in other animals like uh, lizards some of lizards also do does that and uh, they can also eat the smaller and weaker lizards of their own group and, and in general they don't always do that but when they are starving they don't have any food they can eat the smaller and weaker ones which gives them the necessary energy it's a part of the nature and this is not that uncommon in nature so that also does that and they do it for survival uh, especially when they don't really have any other choice they don't, can't do any other thing other male rats are also seen to kill um, babies and especially when uh, uh, let's say if, uh, if the baby belongs to some different rat then the other male rats might come in and then try to eat their babies or at least kill, or kill them and then uh, get uh, throw them out and also can eat them. Now this is a common behavior also seen in other animals. You can see this behavior even in lions because if you see that the other pride member if the uh, let's say 
after giving birth, uh, the male dominating the alpha male lion it moves out from that uh, pack. Then the other male lions comes in and kills the babies because so that uh, mate with the female lions and can have new babies. So they does it because of that reason. And this also applies to the rat. They kill the smaller babies because it doesn't belong to them, so that it doesn't bother them. And they want to create uh, new babies. So because of that reason, the male rats also kill the baby rats of another rat. So uh, both of them are different males. So the different male can kill their, their other uh, other rats also. This is also a common sight that you can see much more common than the mother rats eating their baby rats. The mother rat doesn't usually eat their baby rats, the newborn babies. But it can happen when there is a lot of starvation, when their mother has to survive and need to uh, keep their baby alive. They can do it during that time. But other time, the male rats can come and kill the babies. And as you know, male rats are quite aggressive. And it's not a very common, uncommon phenomenon when you can see the bigger male rats eating the smaller male rats. Because it's quite common in the rat community to eat their own species in terms of survival. They don't always do it, but they can do it when they feel like it and during also during starvation. So it's not a very uncommon thing in among rats, it's actually quite common. But yes, so that is not something we uh, like to hear or like to study about because it's quite uh, unsightly and we don't really, uh, it's not really that uh, pleasant to us. And But this is a part of nature that rat has to do in order to survive. And it's not that uncommon in nature, also, like I mean, as I mentioned before, it is very much common in also other species, not just in rats. So that's it for this video. If you find something helpful from this video, don't forget to click on the like, comment and subscribe button. I'm uploading two videos every single week, that is on Monday and Friday. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell. Thank you.